I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. A little while back, I did a GoFundMe to raise money to buy a really fancy battery tester that would let me test batteries like never before. Uh, and no, this is not, if you missed all that, this is not asking you to go contribute to the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe is over. I raised all the money I, I needed, so don't tune out. <laughs> what this is about is... Like people, people gave me a lot of money to buy this battery tester. It's really expensive. And because you guys believe that I'm going to use it to do really good testing, really good results that you want me to do. Thank you so much for that. But part of accepting that money from you is accountability, right? And what I want to do is I want to do regular updates here on the channel to tell you guys about the progress of the project as it gets going. So I'm going to very clearly label all of these with, you know, battery tester GoFundMe in the title. I don't know. I'll make something up. But so that you guys who maybe don't care about it can just skip it. But for everybody, especially who gave money and wants to know what's happening with that money, then that's who these videos are for. The major thing I'm going to do in this video is I've got the first piece of equipment and I'm going to unbox it for you guys. I don't normally do unboxings, but this one's a little bit special. But I'm also just going to give you a general update. So I've got one piece of equipment, which is the actual sort of core battery tester unit, but it's only able to test up to something like 40 amps. There's, in order to test the full 120 amps, 2000 watts that we need to really crank these batteries to the max, it's a special order. And they told me when I ordered it, it's not gonna be ready until like January. So I've put the order in for that thing and it's going to be January or maybe, I don't know, whenever I get it, I'll get it and I'll let you know. In the meantime, though, I've got the first piece of equipment. We're going to take a look at it. Before we do that, I want to tell you guys one more thing that I think is really important before everybody who gets bored, gets bored and tunes out. I want you guys to know everywhere that I'm spending the money that you gave me. So I'm working to put together a, a spreadsheet with all of the um, all of the transactions in it including all the money I got from the GoFundMe and then all of the things I spent it on. And I'm even going to include invoices and receipts so you know that it's like as legit as it could possibly be. And then at the end, there's going to be a zero balance or maybe I'll have even spent more money than I took in on this project, right? But at the end, you're going to absolutely know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I spent all the money I got from the GoFundMe on what I said I was going to spend it on. So look in the video description. Um, I'm not sure exactly what form that'll take. Maybe like a Google Drive folder where you guys can look at the receipts and the spreadsheet. I don't know. I'll figure something out. It's a little early. I only have like two transactions at this point, but that's going to happen. So look forward to that. Okay. Let's look at what's in this box. Okay. So in this box, we've got um, some odds and ends. This is a power pole connector to XT60. The, the unit comes with a, it's a really actually kind of a cool connector called a power pole. And it's, um, this looks like 12 gauge wire. So I recently did a test that you guys are going to be interested to see testing what effect 12 gauge versus like 14 gauge wire is on battery uh, performance and quad performance. Uh, is the 12 gauge wire does it have better performance than like 14 gauge in terms of resistance and watts lost and so forth? I think you're going to be surprised at the result, but that's for another day. Here is, oh, here's the very first receipt, <laughs> 282.85. That's what I spent on this. Um, and here is the actual battery tester. Now this is the core unit that's, I can actually start practicing with this, learning how to use it, I can just only use it up to like 40 amps. So maybe I'll even start testing like some some very small, like, you know, 550 milliamp hour batteries for, for little quads. Um, and here it is. It doesn't look like much, does it? But this is the key. It's got this USB port and it plugs into the computer. And then there's software that runs on the computer that does all the magic. This is this is not much to look at, but I think when you guys see what it can do, you're going to be really pleased and really impressed. I hope so. Oh, it comes with a USB cable. Well, for 280 bucks, I sure hope so. We've got a, a spare fuse in here, presumably. At, what's that rated at? 32 volts. All right. Well, anyway, whatever that's for. Spare power pole connector and the software. So there it is. This is the very. This is the heart of the unit, the brain of the unit, if you will, and it is going to 
make all this stuff happen. I'm so excited to be able to do this testing for you guys. Uh, okay, so this is just a short video, but I want to let you guys know, everybody who gave me money in the GoFundMe, again, I, I'm so grateful. I'm overwhelmed with how generous you guys were and how much you believe in me and believe in the testing I want to do uh, and your willingness to, I just, I can't believe how quickly we met our goal. Um, thanks especially, thanks to everybody who gave, but I, I, it has to be mentioned that Race Day Quads made a huge contribution, um, uh, really almost like half of what I was asking for. Uh, well, anyway, there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Happy flying.